Have you ever wondered what makes a feminine seed different from an autoflowering seed? The life cycle of autoflowering cannabis is way shorter than that of feminine genetics. From seed to harvest, they require an average of two months and a half. Feminized genetics are a bit more complex. For starters, their life is made up of two cycles, the growth phase, or baking phase, and the flowering phase. The main difference between feminized and autoflowering genetics, though, is that the former heavily relies on the hours of light to flower. With classical feminized seeds or photoperiod dependent seeds, time is measured differently. We can control the growth phase however we like. That's why when referring to classical feminized seeds, we don't talk about life cycle, but about flowering cycle, for it depends on us. And now you may be wondering, then what happens with autoflowering cannabis? Autoflowering seeds owe their amazing speed to the Radularis genotype, a kind of marijuana born in Siberia. These plants manage to adapt to the harsh weather conditions of the area thanks to its fast growth. The most significant feature of these strains is that they flower automatically, ignoring the amount of light they are exposed to. But not just that, they also offer some more advantages over feminized genetics. Firstly, you will no longer have to worry about light pollution because they aren't photosensitive. And secondly, they are less likely to be attacked by pests, given their shorter life cycle. Classical feminized version though will reward the virtue of patience with your bare taste and sense. As a general rule, feminist plants deliver denser buds for they have more time to grow. Now that you know the differences between autoflowering and classical feminized seeds, choose the strain that best fits your needs. 